Welcome to the remarkable story of Jeanne de Clisson, the Lioness of Brittany. Born in 1300 in Brittany, France, Jeanne's early life was shaped by the complex world of medieval politics and alliances. Married thrice, her third marriage to Olivier de Clisson would set her on an extraordinary path. Olivier de Clisson, a nobleman known for his valour and loyalty to the French crown, found himself falsely accused of treason during the Battle of Vannes. The political landscape of the time was fraught with tension, and accusations of betrayal were not uncommon. Despite his dedicated service, Olivier was tried, found guilty, and executed in a public square. His head was displayed on a spike, a brutal symbol of betrayal. Jane's heart was shattered, her trust in the crown irrevocably broken. Driven by grief, rage, and a burning desire for justice, Jeanne sold her lands and possessions to raise an army and a fleet of ships. The Black Fleet, with its dark hulls and red sails, became a symbol of her vengeance. She attacked French ships along the Brittany coast, her resolve unyielding. Jeanne's actions were both feared and admired. She personally beheaded captured French noblemen, sparing only a few to carry her message of retribution back to the king. Her actions caught the attention of the English king Edward III, who saw in her a valuable ally. An alliance was formed, and with English support, Jeanne's Black Fleet continued to terrorise the French for over a decade. Her story is set against the backdrop of the Hundred Years' War, a time of political upheaval, shifting allegiances and complex power dynamics. Jeanne's life was not just about revenge. It was a statement, a declaration of strength and defiance. She became a symbol of resistance, a woman who stood against injustice and fought for what she believed was right. Her story resonates with themes of love, loss, honour and retribution. It speaks to the heart and challenges us to reflect on justice, courage and the indomitable spirit of a woman wronged by history. Her actions challenged the traditional roles of women in her time, making her an extraordinary figure in history. She navigated a world dominated by men carving a place for herself through sheer determination and force of will. Her story is a vivid example of personal vendetta, turning into political resistance, contributing to the ongoing tensions between France and England during the Hundred Years' War. The world in which Jeanne lived was marked by conflict, intrigue and shifting alliances. The Hundred Years' War was not just a battle between two nations. It was a complex web of political manoeuvring, personal ambition, and the struggle for power and influence. Jeanne's story is a microcosm of these larger themes, a personal tale that reflects the broader currents of history. Eventually, Jeanne retired from piracy, her revenge complete. She found love again with an English nobleman, Sir Walter Bentley, and settled into a life of peace and contentment. She died in 1359, leaving behind a legacy that continues to captivate and inspire. The tale of Jeanne de Clisson, the Lioness of Brittany, is a tapestry of passion, defiance and resilience. It is a story that transcends time, reminding us of the complexities of human emotion and the often overlooked roles that women have played in shaping our world. It is a story that speaks to the heart, a story that challenges us to reflect on justice, courage and the indomitable spirit of a woman wronged by history. Join us as we explore more hidden gems of history, uncovering stories that inspire, challenge, and remind us of the rich tapestry of our shared past. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time as we continue to uncover the remarkable lives and legacies that have shaped our world. The story of Jeanne de Clisson is but one of many, a glimpse into a past filled with heroism, tragedy, triumph, and the enduring power of the human spirit.